hello friends welcome again and this is my new project online shoe store and you can see online shoe shop and i have developed this project in java jsp and mysql the version for the jk i'm using is the jk 1.8 and the mysql version is 5.6 for connecting mysql with java and jsp i have used mysql connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website so this is a web-based application so for front-end development i have used html css and javascript some of the jquery library also I have used like for form validations for date calendar plug integrations i have used the jquery plugins right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project online shoe store right so let's start with the functionality go through right so this is a web-based project so uh, that's why you can run this project on the tomcat versions 7 8 or 9 so i am using the tomcat version 9 right so this is the home page of the project you can see the there are some shoes coming on the home page and this is a totally dynamic and these all details are coming from the database currently we have added 12 shoes details on the database that's why 12 shoes are coming right so if you want to see the details just click on the shoes you will be able to see the details one more thing i want to update you this is a mini project means mini dbms project because all of the data is coming from the database and meaning because it has only and only customer login there is no admin login inside the inside in this page right inside in this project if you want to add update delete the records then you can do that you can do it directly from the database right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is the home page all of the shoes coming from the database this is about this is a static page this is all products means all shoes you will be able to see all of the shoes you can filter out the products from here right so you can see products are getting filtered out right if you want the same filter option is available in the header bar also you can see the these items will be filtered out right okay so this is a register if you don't have the user id and password then you will not be able to buy any of the shoes any of the product right so this is a registration form if you don't have the user id and password then you can create your user id and password from this page and you can log in this is a login from here you will be able to log inside the system and you can perform certain operations this is a contact us page from where you will be able to send the contact information but this is a static page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere in the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page so i am going to log in so username is amit at the gmail.com and password is test once you log in inside the session then you will get the dashboard so this is the dashboard right so here you can see your orders so there are three orders you have placed if you want to see the items then click on the view items you will be able to see the items also this is a my account from where you will be able to update your account details right so this menu options available here in the header bar also now i am going to buy some of the shoes again so let me go through that so i am going to in main option i am going to add this into the cart so oh there are a lot of items is already available into the cart if i want to delete it then you can delete it from here right now i want to buy these two shoes right so there are two options here continue shopping or proceed to checkout now i am going to proceed to checkout it's asking your shipping address so you enter your shipping address anything you can enter right and enter the garbage details after that it's asking for proceed to payment once you click on the proceed to payment this is the make payment option here you need to enter any of the garbage information no need of entering your credit correct credit card details this is a dummy page right so i am entering any of the garbage information here right this is a cv number right and once you click on the make payment then your order will be saved into the database so you can see your order number is 19 and it has been placed and it has been stored in the database you can see your order details the order number 19 is here and you can see the view items here right so all things are database driven all things are saving to database all things are coming from the database right, right. so the last option is the logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and none of the administration will be displayed once you click on the logout you can see none of the administration when it is displayed like my orders my account is not displaying if i log in then my order and my account is displaying if i log out it's not displaying because this is a session driven menu right so this all functionalities i have inside i have developed inside this script on issue store and as i told you earlier this is a java jsp 
MySQL web based mini DBMS project, right? Mini because it has only and only customer login details, right? There is no admin inside in this project. But if you need admin, we will integrate it also. So if you need extra feature in this project, if you need any enhancement in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate the changes. I will make this project more better and better according to requirements. And don't forget to subscribe to channel for getting the latest projects videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.